We're going to begin now with our exclusive interview with Melania Trump's former close friend and confidant, Stephanie Winston Wolkoff, who is out with that blockbuster new book, Melania and Me. ABC's Lindsay Davis sat down with her to talk about life in the White House and what she describes as the behind the scenes battle between the First Lady and Ivanka Trump. A lot to talk about, Lindsay. Good morning. Lots to talk about. Good morning to you, Amy. After 15 years of friendship, it has come to this. This book certainly has a number of villains. One of them is Ivanka Trump, but the author does not hold back on Melania. At one point, she describes her as a fake watch on a street corner, and Stephanie Winston Walkoff describes herself as the sucker who bought it. I gave Melania the benefit of the doubt that she was my friend. She was different than Donald was. She was different than the other Trump children. And so, now? Oh, a Trump is a Trump is a Trump. This morning, Stephanie Winston Walkoff, the former close friend, confidant, and trusted advisor to the First Lady, is pulling back the curtain on who she says the real Melania Trump is in her new book, Melania and Me. You talk about how Melania prizes her privacy above all things. Give us a, a sense of the woman you came to know a, as a friend for, for quite some time. Melania and I first met when I was at Vogue. And she, it was before she had met Donald. She was single, she was striving, she wasn't you know, a Vogue cover model yet. So the Melania I first met versus the Melania there is today is a very different person. Before their bitter fallout over Stephanie's role in what became the most expensive inauguration in history, they were close friends for more than a decade. 15 years of friendship, you all had kind of like a, a fun girlfriend, whimsical times, right? With mm -hmm. selfies and duck lips and lunches. What attracted me to Melania is her strength, her independence, her doesn't matter what anybody else thinks attitude. I mean, she told you on her jacket, I don't care. She doesn't care what anyone thinks about her. That's true confidence. That strength is something Stephanie says was on full display after the Access Hollywood tape came out, a moment many thought would derail Donald Trump's run for president. Hey, when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. <laughs> Grab him by the <laughs> I can do anything. The day that the Access Hollywood tape came out, she had reached out to me to have lunch. Now, if any other human being or any other one of my friends, I would have expected to see them in tears. Right? She was smiling. It was as if nothing happened. And I swear to you, I had like a glitch in my brain. Because I was like, is this really happening at this moment? Is it surreal that her husband just came out and said these horrible things? And I said to her, how many times have you heard the word in president in the same sentence? And we burst out laughing. But then I said to her, are you upset though? You know? And doesn't this get you angry that Donald would say something like this. And Melania's a pragmatist. Melania always, you know, if you can't control people's emotions, then why even worry about it? And that's how she lived her life. And it, that is what she stood by every day. That that was the only time that there was even a possibility that Donald wouldn't win the election was because of his tape that had come out. I've just received a call from Secretary Clinton. After Donald Trump's victory in the 2016 election, Stephanie says Melania and the newly minted president turned to her for help. For years, Stephanie was Anna Winter's go-to woman. She produced the star-studded Met Gala for a decade. And now Stephanie was being tapped to play a key role in both the First Lady's office and the planning of the inauguration. In her book, she alleges a backstabbing and competitive relationship between Melania and her stepdaughter, Ivanka, even quoting the First Lady as calling Ivanka the princess. Stephanie says Ivanka approached her to make sure she was placed prominently next to her father when President Trump was sworn into office. You don't do that to the First Lady of the United States of America. You do not try and position yourself more important. And Melania was not having that. She looked at me and she said, you mean princess? And we both started laughing hysterically because Ivanka turned into a princess who wanted to be queen. Operation Block Ivanka. Explain that. When I spoke with Melania about the picture itself, we figured out how to make sure that Barron was in between Donald and Melania and that to Melania's right would be Donald Jr. and that Ivanka would be next. Keeping Ivanka blocked from the historic photo. Stephanie says she has proof to back up her stories. I can back up everything that's in the book, 100%. With audio tapes? I can back up the book. There's nothing in the book that I can't back up. 
Not one word. And Donald and Melania know that. Now, there are reports that she does have audio tapes. Wolkoff would not confirm or deny that. Uh, she also did not provide documentation that would support the claims that she made in her book or also in her interview with us. As for Ivanka Trump, she declined to comment. The First Lady's office did release a statement to ABC News saying anybody who secretly tapes their self described best friend is by definition dishonest. The book is full of mistruths and paranoia and clearly based on some imagined need for revenge, Amy. All right, Lindsay, we appreciate it. Wolkoff's book, Melania and Me, The Rise and Fall of My Friendship with the First Lady, is out tomorrow, and we will have much more with her coming up in our next hour, including new claims about the First Lady and President Trump's relationship. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.